Today I thought I'd share my weekend morning routine and a little get ready with me too. So my weekend breakfast is a little different from during the week. I never have juice during the week and I certainly never have pancakes, but I try to bribe myself with having as much fruit as I can on the weekend by having some pancakes with them. After breakfast, I like to do some meditation. And if it's a beautiful day, I'll meditate outside. Or if I can't, I'll light some candles and meditate inside. And I want to shout out today's sponsor, which is Jewel Candle. These aren't just ordinary candles. Inside each one is a piece of jewelry. So if you're looking for a gift for yourself, or maybe even for Mother's Day, you can head over to the website, click the scent that you like, pick the type of jeweler you want to be in it, and they also gave me a discount code, which is the Makeup Chair 20, which you can use at the checkout. They've been one of my favorite candle brands for such a long time, and I'm so grateful for them for sponsoring this video. Typically on weekends, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I was heading out with my sister after this, so I thought that I would do a little get ready with me. So I start with some miracle treatment. This stuff smells amazing. I just pop this through the ends of my hair. I then use the Babyliss Curler, and if you haven't tried this, you need to. It's like magic. It's one of my favorite ways to curl my hair, particularly if you have chronic fatigue like I do. And then I just add some texture with some salt spray. For the face, I start off with a little bit of color corrector. And then I use a L'Oreal True Match Powder. My skin's a little dry at the moment, but it still worked. For the eyes, I keep it really natural. I start off with a brown tone, working this through the crease and onto the lid. And then with a really pale shade, I pop this over the top of the lid and a little bit under the brows too. Next, I curl my lashes and add some mascara. And for the face, I'm actually going to be using a finishing powder. This is in the shade Dark, and this brush does all the work for you. I like this because it's really sheer, but it also adds a beautiful tone. This just adds a little bit of depth while adding a little bit of shape to the face. One of my favorite blushes at the moment is this beautiful Flormar blush. I popped that on using the F41. I loved it so much I actually put it onto my lid as well. So take a large blending brush and just pop this in the outer corner and through the crease. It's a great way to bring the whole look together. For the lips, I lined with a lip liner. And then I used this beautiful lipstick. This is by YSL and it is so gorgeous. I was just showing my sister and even she agrees. It's yummy. And then just to keep everything in place, I finished off with a setting spray. For my outfit, I kept it really simple. Just a knitted jumper, a pair of skinny jeans. I love these because they have a slightly brown trim. So what I do is I match the brown trim to my heels. Any excuse to wear these heels, I will take it. They're really, really comfortable. I love wearing them. And I just paired that with a tanned blazer, but I did pop the collar up a little bit just to add more of a jacket feel so it doesn't feel so structured. And then it started to rain and the next day this happened but it did look absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys get up to on the weekend. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.